This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. And let's dive right into Tesla's big event last night that it called WeRobot. Its top hands-free driving system right now is called Supervised FSD. But Elon Musk says that Tesla will launch unsupervised FSD next year in the Model 3 and Y. He expects it to first be available in Texas and California and will expand to wherever regulators will allow it. All of its models will be capable of having the feature, which will still be based on an AI and vision system. But Elon says you could fall asleep behind the wheel and wake up at your destination. That would mean to me that Tesla is going from a level 2 plus system with supervised FSD up to level 4 or 5 with unsupervised. The company will also put what Elon called an over spec version of the system into the cyber cab that it revealed at the event. To me, it looks like the model is based on the Model 3 and Y, but it won't have a steering wheel or pedals, so it too could be limited by regulators. It also won't have a charging port and will instead rely on inductive charging. Tesla will make the cyber cab available for purchase, estimated to start in the low $30,000 range. Elon believes that it could be used five to 10 times more than a regular car and will one day be 10 times safer than a human and cost 20 cents a mile to operate. He predicted it could be available in 2026, but then quickly said before 2027. Beyond the cyber cab, Tesla pulled the wraps off the Robovan. It's spelled Robovan, but Elon pronounced it Robovan. The autonomous vehicle can deliver packages or other goods or carry up to 20 people. Elon thinks it could one day operate at five to 10 cents a mile. There was no time given for when the Robovan will launch, but Elon says it will build it and it will look like this. To quote the CEO, the future should look like the future. The last highlight of the We Robot event was Tesla's actual robot, Optimus. Musk envisioned a future where the robots cost less than the price of a car and people might have one or even two of them in their house serving drinks and doing chores like mowing the lawn. But like any Tesla event hosted by Elon Musk, We'll have to wait to see if the company can pull it off in the CEO's projected timeline and for it to operate at the level of capability talked about during the presentation. That big shakeup at Stellantis we reported about yesterday happened today. The headliner is that the contract of CEO Carlos Tavares will not be extended beyond 2026. So the company is hunting for a new leader. And maybe that person is one of the other people that it just promoted. At the top of our list would be the CEO of Jeep, Antonio Filosa, who just added COO of North America to his title, replacing Carlos Arlenga, whose next position will be, quote, subject to a further announcement. The same was said about the CEO of Alpha and Maserati, who was also replaced as well. The COO of Europe and the CFO were also replaced, but they decided to leave the company rather than take another position. Tavares' contract expires in early 2026, so he has just over a year left at Stellantis. Good news for automakers. It looks like the industry will avoid another chip shortage. There was concern after flood damage from Hurricane Helene shut down two companies that mine high-purity quartz in North Carolina. That quartz is used to make semiconductor chips, and the sites in North Carolina are one of the only ones in the world that mine it. But one of the companies, the Sibilco Group, announced that it has restarted operations and is ramping up to full capacity. The other company, the Quartz Group, says it's too early to tell when it can resume, but it doesn't expect any disruptions in supply to customers. So it looks like the auto industry can breathe a sigh of relief. Nissan says it's going to start offering bi-directional charging with its EVs starting in the UK in 2026. 
Customers will be able to use energy stored in their EV's battery to power their home, or they can sell it back to the grid. The system requires a special home charging unit, but Nissan says it's trying to get the cost comparable to a one-way home charger. While the UK is first in 2026, other markets in Europe will follow after that. And one way to really take advantage of bi-directional charging is with home energy storage. Not only can you use wind and solar to charge the unit, which you can also use to power your home or sell electricity back to the grid, but your bi-directional charging EV can be added in for even more storage capability or to charge the home storage unit itself. And GM is launching its own solution that it calls Energy Power Bank. They have either 10.6 or 17.7 kilowatt hour units available that can also be combined together for more storage. The Energy Power Bank is part of the GM Energy Home System Bundle, which also includes the charger, the inverter, and everything to operate it, costing $12,700. Or you can just buy the storage unit if you already have the home system, but we weren't able to find the price for that. Last month, Volkswagen shocked the auto industry when it warned it will likely have to close factories in Germany, something it has never done in its history. And now it looks like we know one of the plants that could be shut down. Porsche, which is part of the VW Group, announced that it's halting production of the Cayman and Boxster at VW's Osnabrück plant in Germany. It will instead produce them at its main factory in Germany starting in 2026. The Osnabrück plant also builds the VW T-Rock, but that's going out of production next year, which puts the plant's future up in the air. It has the capacity to build 100,000 vehicles a year, but last year it only made 28,000. The site employs 2,800 workers, but Germany's Manager magazine reports that VW could cut up to 30,000 jobs in Germany, so that's why more closures are expected. Car sales in China were up last month. According to the China Passenger Car Association, retail sales of new passenger vehicles totaled more than 2 million units in September, up 2% from a year ago. It was also the first increase in retail sales in China in the past five months. Not surprisingly, new energy vehicles, or NEVs, fueled the growth. Sales of BEVs, PHEVs, and EREVs reached 1.12 million units, a 51% gain. Through the first nine months of the year, automakers have sold 15.5 million vehicles in China, up 2%, with electrified models accounting for 7.1 million sales, up 37% from last year. BMW is showing off an open-top, two-seat roadster that it calls the Skytop. Its design is highlighted by a spline that extends all the way from the hood to an aluminum bar on the trunk. The illuminated twin kidney grille also adds a nice pop. The roof consists of two removable sections that are stowed in a special compartment in the trunk. The Skytop is powered by a gas-burning 4.4-liter V8 that's mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission, which sends its power through an all-wheel drive system. It cranks out 625 horsepower and can move from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.3 seconds. But the Skytop is a limited edition model with only 50 examples being built. But that brings us to the end of today's show. Thanks for making AutoLine a part of your day, and I hope that you have a great weekend. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Intrepid Control Systems, over-the-air engineering boost your game. Tajin Automotive Technologies, the formula for better mobility. And by ZF. There's nothing wrong with heavy metal. Hey, lighten up. But with world-class composite material, Tajin Automotive Technologies makes vehicles lighter, safer, and more eco-friendly. Developing today's vehicles, issues can happen in an instant. What good is knowing your problems without the data to solve them? Meet Wireless Neovi Cloud. 
your secure off-the-shelf solution, empowering real-time collaboration for quick resolution. With Wireless Neovi Cloud, your team can prevent issues before they can escalate. Driver communication data and remote diagnostics to analyze and resolve your problems using OTA. Allowing your executives oversight throughout the process. Wireless Neovi Cloud, your vehicle update solution in production and on the road. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data. Making a life full of memories, one road trip at a time. That's what really matters. Bridgestone Weatherpeak Tires, with a 70,000 mile limited warranty. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.